possible. Dreams, dreams are made. Uh, you know, without without and being, destroyed and and destroyed. We uh, definitely saw a lot of heartbreak with teams who were unable to qualify at the RMRs. This is uh, a big deal to be a, a celebration of Counter Strike, but also, I guess, it's our equivalent of the World Cup, right? I think that's probably the best way to frame it. Yeah. Just not uh, with the the national rosters as always, or not all of them. Apex, an example. But up against Pain Gaming, who are representing Brazil. Let's get this one started then. Not a lot of Util being invested into here for the T side of Pain. Got a smoke and a molly. Gonna make steps over towards Bridge. Very important to force the audibles. Smoke's in the sky. Deco up the ramp. So they're selling a lot of A presents, trying to look bigger than they are, Big Zero and Lux. There's four players here. They've oh, done what they needed ooh. to do. No, they've definitely sold it. Surely this gap's forged now. Lux, if he could live, takes fights, confirms the sandbags are occupied as well. They haven't taken space. What are they doing now? They are. Stiko's here. Miss him. Pushing through. Bombs across. Stiko misses his opportunity there, and a HE could be well placed. But not going to find lethality. Chips away. NQZ down to half. Miss him a great shot, but Stiko down. Forced to watch. That's an Ito soon to join him. 2 HP. It's going to be sense. Trying to find a way back in. Good find on the Glock. Recovers that. Using them to great success. Finding their headshot. NQZ down. It's only Lux. It's a winnable. One versus two. Sanito's low, can't find them first. Headshot and it's sense again. Three kills from the IGL. The young gun steps up for Apex's pistol. And he likes to make some noise. We've seen he's one of these elements of the team who gets fired up, yells an awful lot. So he uh, is trying to be the leader, not only in terms of the calls, but in how he conducts himself. And that will be the pistol round going in their favor. And that's even after what I would consider a successful fake. Mm. The decoy, the smoke, the opening kill, all going the way of pain. And it felt like they had breached in towards that B-bomb site a little bit late. They still get in the door, they still get the bomb down, and they still facilitate the second round by. This is one of the keys with the loss bonus where it's at. But they've gone AK heavy, haven't they? Yeah, that's cool, actually. They've, they've, they've managed to pull off three AK-47s with Kev. I don't love the absence of the head armor. It means that MP9 could ruin the day of NQZ. It might be telling of the pace that they're about to take. If they offer something quick, then definitely so. If they slow the pace down, allow the CTs to rifle through all of their utility, and then turn this ramp into a bit more of a protocol aim map, then I think that they might be able to negate that issue, at least for the most part. Still always cause for concern. Have a hamper smoke and a ramp lurk smoke, and then a redeploy of a deep yellow. And this is it. Even if you're not going to contest for these fights, Apex still need to seem somewhat threatening. You can't give this space over for free. Sasanito and Sense fighting in unison. Oh, Sense, dear. hero of the last, is down. Yeah, that's a big fight from Biggie Zera. Sanito actually concedes and will give up that space. And you can see Biggie Zera is very quick to hoover up any of the potential. Confirms full control with a molly on sandbags. That's Sanito choos choosing to stand and search. Doesn't have too much in the way of support. This is just a duel now. Head spotted. spotted. That's an Ito, turns his tail, joins Nork towards Gap, getting swung on now from Lux. Lux, run down. Good work from Nork, finds himself an upgrade. Need another. Jacob, good for it through the smoke. It's NQZ trying to hunt down Nork, hiding out on the Gap position. Nice work from the Cowes Deeg. They will get that bomb planted. Hanging in the balance here. Yeah, low HP. Cowes cut down by Jacob. Deco spotting out NQZ in a very forward position. It puts a lot of pressure onto Nissim. Molly for the default. That will buy time, but he's going to have to take this duel. Deco! Oh, a dink, but not enough. Good attempt from Payne on the second round by. See, I, I don't know if he didn't believe the potency of his Molotov there. Yeah. Right, if he did, he knew that he had a buffer of about seven seconds. And he, they would have had to have tapped again. He's gone searching. Gets the isolated fight, but is unable to connect it. And Nork does a good job staying alive. Slows them down getting into the site, and then that means the smoke fades. Jacob gets the kill on Carl. Carl is jumping away. That position from NQZ as well is not favorable. You can no. see, you can see, because Stiko's further away from it, you can just see a like sliver of you. But th there was one of the the fact that they were jarring. It looks awkward for Sasanito playing ahead of the smoke wall, but slowing them down buys the buffer because they don't have a surplus of utility to replenish. Right. So it's worked out nicely for Apex. I see Nork lining up the yellow smoke. Will he do anything aggressive off the back of this? You can see that now landing deep down yellow can facilitate a bit of a walk down if they're interested. Sense and Sasanito. He's actually got a nice little flash lineup to get himself out and across. Then 
Nade on the smoke in sync. Nice little move. I like that. Write that one down. Yeah, so you need to have as many of those as possible. Uh, that new dynamic is something that I don't think anybody's mastered yet. Mm. I think there's still a lot of room for growth in terms of do you want to use it offensively? Do you want to use it defensively? You know, is it more for the seat? Is it more for the T? Well, obviously, I think uh, situation is the key. But a heavy lean from Apex over towards the A side of the map right now. You can see Jacob even starting to cheat over. So with the radar, take a look. And well, this camera is even better. You can see them playing for information, searching forward. They need to win this fight over towards yellow and quick smart because the hit will be coming towards B. Big Yuzera. That's huge. Absolutely massive. Winning the frag onto Sense. And well, I was going to say, get away with it. No, Steeko hanging out on B with a brilliant double. Triple. Triple. Gets in QZ on the way out. Okay, well, round over, unless Lux has got a clutch in him. Punching in the code, at least get some cash to splash, but that'll be it. Apex, they can thank themselves. Stiko, the B anchor, gets a triple on the defense. That's more than he's worth there, and that actually is attesting to how well he just did. That is fantastic from Stiko. The fact he gets the third is insane. Two was great. Two, I would have been more than happy with on the rotation back through, because as we were just highlighting, there was so much pressure from Apex to get this space over towards A. They have to focus on getting the trade. The miles away and you oh, can't I, what? yeah so he must have been coming up through the smoke up the stairs he wasn't even aiming at him <laughs> that's crazy that one oh man that's it, why it didn't compute no it didn't it couldn't process that but Stika, what a huge round he's just had i mean the that tractor. Was, yeah that was about to be pain gaming's first gunny now instead they're operating with some galils trying to get themselves off of the goose egg it's felt like everything's been a gun round so far we've had ak's galils yeah. galils again so this is that T-side economy. Getting the bomb down time and time again is going to continue to cause problems for Apex. Jacob on high alert. Whoa, whoa, oh, dropped into a passive play. Lux dealt with over towards A. Trying to punish that reload. Wow, nice find from Cowboys actually. Controls this Galil into Jacob. Now they are starting with this 3A. Uh, like he was going to continue to aggress. Because uh, if, if it's, it's awkwardly quiet, it's like, well, okay, if they're here, they're here, but they're not. So look at this push. You can even see it on the X-ray. He's got Stiko behind him. I love this call. This is huge for information yeah. purposes. And Satsunito can work with this information. He now has a good idea that they're probably around. This ramp spots the boost, knows at least two. Exactly. Quick, oh. math, quick maths, they're playing good counter here. They are indeed. This so, is massive. So is he gonna be able to basically lock them? Is he, or does he play to contain now? Oh, he's actually spotted out the bomb on bridge. With Stiko onto Nissim as well, this aggression has been rewarded. And oh, ooh, their options are really not great, are they? What can you do here? Bane Gaming. Oh, had an opportunity. Bit of chip damage was available. Big Uzera on 50 HP to work with this. Two here on A. A forward position from Satsunito. Gets jiggled out. So good awareness from Big Uzera and Cowes, but just going to spray him down. Don't get him into the site. And no bomb plant this time. So they've been humbled. Yeah, there was residual cash left over. I believe there's more than enough now to get into, quote unquote, a full gun round. Okay. Right, this is the murky waters that we found ourselves in because of these plants, but let's find out in a moment's time. That was the easy opening. This was the one back, but again, I just love the... Ooh, Stika. He's looking sharp. Yeah, and look, let's not mince words. Let's not... Uh, uh, let's let's be honest about this. Apex needed to bring him back to have core three yeah. so they could get themselves a spot in the RMR. Yes. So they brought him back out of necessity for the major circuit. But he's not going to just take that as, uh, you know, almost... Um a backhanded compliment, you know. Instead, he's taking it as an opportunity. Yeah, precisely. Always like Stiko, good head on his shoulders. Yeah, 100%. And he's been individually grinding, trying to find his form or surpass his uh, previous form. And QZ on the AWP. This is what we were expecting to see. He's taken down Jacob, so already impact being felt. And this him, he's loud about this. So Stiko, alert. Oh, and oh, Stiko no. wins the duel. This seems going to feel robbed. They were hoping to seesaw, but yep. you, you need to be successful in that type of a gambit if you want to have the seesaw as an option. So now it's not that they're going in blind. They know that He's damage was moving. done. Staying active, aren't they? Like, they are not going to be expecting this so quickly. After defending B, it's already behind them. Does he investigate the B bomb? Oh, it's I'm, so quiet. I'm a Stiko stan right now. The fact that he's going to be behind, they're already looking they're at... They're doing a double flank. Nork's with him. Well, Nork's investigating A, but... Okay. Is there any trigger discipline involved? No, you just take this frag. You just take this. No, you do. He might you be able do. to stop the plant. Oh, beautiful from Stiko. He will go down. 
Bomb disrupted. The double flank. No way you're expecting yeah. a double flank. Oh, yeah. It's only the flank. Hang on. And it's good work. Lux locks it in. Young oh. Guns having fun. Triple kill from Lux. You needed to convert that with how it started. Big Zero running up short and opening kill. NQZ grabs one back, and then it all gets a little bit unorthodox with the Stiko and Nork double push. Thought but they'd done enough with that. Yeah, if they were paired up, probably, but you could see they didn't exactly know. Here's the NQZ frag onto Jacob, rotating into trouble, but Lux. Oof. And you see them getting fired up, that Brazilian passion. Okay. They're not shy of making some noise, but look at how they've kept Apex's economy right where they want it. Oh, wow, the stack nades land on Sense's front door and down he goes, <laughs> <laughs> an all bullet to the toe. Uh, the nades didn't even matter, did they? Still, that's a, quite a bit of a one-two punch onto Sense, so operating at a disadvantage are Apex, and Kizzy holding the flank for now, anticipating the potential for something more aggressive, addressing the gaps in their opening spread. They're gonna draw themselves back into the game quite quickly if they convert this one. Especially if they can do so cleanly. Sim has taken down Stiko's investigations towards the B stairs. Big Uzera finds himself towards the gap and no Ooh. one occupying headshot. Notice how the AWP spam from far away. I don't think Sassanid will expect them already up short because of the AWP spam. Yeah, yeah see, so I the see fact you. that they spam the AWP deep, we've already, hey, shoot for me. Right, I've got, it's, it's lulled Sassanid into a false sense of security. Yeah, it's round defining. Nork's gonna be picking up an AWP though. We'll see if he can save it. It's going to be difficult to do considering the circumstances. And if you're pained, do you want to wipe the board? And are, you, are you going to just allow this round to settle in and you grab your second, start to build a bit of a T-side economy, or do you want to hunt? Well, Cowers will be the first to take a look, and he will have to tussle with Jacob. Nestled in quite nicely here towards the B lobby. Okay, let's stay with Cowers. Let's see how his uh, clears go. Because this angle is very... You're not going to be looking for it. Nice work, though. Did at least... Bait out Jacob, but it's an upgrade for Jacob. They'll take the rifle. Oh, Ooh, they'll lose the orb. Nice find from Big Uzera. Nork. Shut down. Jacob finds himself that AK. Can he hold on to it? Not too long left in this round. And with three alive, Payne. Go down. They're going to force the issue a little bit as the bomb explodes. Going wide, spot him out, and deletes him. Big Uzera takes another frag. And they'll be happily back into this game. Vertigo starting competitively. You're going to be frustrated there if you're Jacob. Just like, hey, mate, just swing me wide. So you're jiggling everything. Just swing. And, well, oh. that was the shot from NQZ. A beautiful way to kick off the round. An important one here from Nissim. Uh, and especially the fact he gets revenge against Stiko, which he did fluff against and, a few rounds earlier. Uh, uh, embracing my pedantic hand, Chad. You said the, uh, the nades were irrelevant. I think that was a shot in the leg, actually. Okay, I'm all just right, saying. all right, all right. <laughs> Five of them headed towards ramp. I see a P250 on the high end, a 5.7. Not too much fun to be had here for Apex. Uh, and, ooh, okay. We've got a, a little stack of Rooney. Different the elevations. Official terminology, I do believe. I believe so. I believe so. How many does this get? I reckon that UMP is about to farm some stacks. One. Oh, come on, Chief. Nasty little spread there. And they start to swing. They want to find Lux. Come on, what have you got? Oh, none. Absolutely nothing on the UMP, but it's information. I suppose maybe not nothing, as the B site's open for business. As long as it just stays as the UMP that they've lost in this round, it almost feels like no harm, no foul. What about an AK? Oh, he holds on to it. A lovely spray, Cowes. Nort loses his AK eventually. Nork managed to chase him down, and that's certainly a nice prize. I'll take that through to the next if you can. If he can. Already starting to spread their wings are pain. Wouldn't Nissim expect this? He should do. Be aware it is a possibility. Big Zero dealing with Stiko in the interim, and while Nork will get another kill. So at least adding frags to the tally. That's 300 bucks. It's a money game. Yep. It's a money game. Feels no like need to invest. An important save as well, considering the money situation for Apex. Lost bonus about to get piped through into the bank. So everybody is going to be just under that 5k mark. I suppose the question is, are they going to try and facilitate an AWP? And if so, who goes lacking? Because you can see the finances right now. I think it's probably better for Nork just to operate considering the circumstances. 
with the investments that have already come through, you can see nobody who could have dropped can. And it, the thing is, if they could have, it would have meant they would have been a rifle with no armor. Mm. So you're not taking that. You, look, your AWP is good, but you're not taking that level of sacrifice. There's going to be a tactical timeout called from Apex. Now, Mitha, I believe he just signed a contract extension over there with Apex until 2027. Oh, okay. Maybe that's that sounds like a long time. I <laughs> want to fact check that actually. You fact check yourself while uh, we get ourselves into another round of play. Round eight in this uh, best of one second of the day. And of course, two streams running simultaneously as well. If you've kind of accidentally stumbled into this broadcast and wondering where Ents is or where those other games are, you can go ahead and tune in to the main broadcast and you'll be able to check Ents versus Imperial, which is about to be going down. No, it is true. Mithra extends contract with Apex till 2027. Damn, okay. Yeah, that's a, a good uh, uh, job security. Yeah, right good there. play, good play. Do you help? Oh. All right. Yeah, I like that. Nissan. He's using all the props to get the mollies in. Well, clearing out wood, and now they'll boost, opening up multiple different sight lines in towards this sign. Steeker, will this catch you off guard, my friend? Yeah, he has a smoke. I think by design, uh, he's ready to bail himself out of the potential for a Molotov, which is uh, surely going to come in his way. I'm more worried about Jake and Alex. Steeker buys his time, gets away with it. They're not ready for him. Steeker, only the one. Jacob. He managed to post himself a frag, recovers another smoke lux. That is a gift. That's going to lock these CTs out. They've got two more. One on Lux, one on NQZ. They can keep this replenished. Uh, they're going to try and force the issue. Tatsunito, audible. Lux. Hiding in oh, they run past him. He's going for a round they've winner. They've past him. All the backs are turned. Apex not ready. And Lux only the one. Good reaction out of sense. Orpal connect. NQZ has pulled them into this round, confirming it essentially as Nork is scarboring to save. Oh, that could have been from Lux to Deluxe if he took them all down right there. That would have been quite the play. And like I said, he's going for the round winner. He's trying to be cheeky with it, trying to make sure that he can remove any possibility by being in that back line, using the smoke against them. Regardless, they'll pick this one up and we will be leveling the playing field at 4-4. So Lux has had some impact. That rifle round over towards the B site earlier on in the piece where he had three big kills. Now essentially grabbing the round winner right there, sending them packing. And it's interesting the way that Steeko chose to operate here. Like I said, I was more worried about Jacob because of the fast pathing up wood. And Steeko waited enough ticks in the molly that they thought it was clear that they looked away from his position. So the fact that they were under that much pressure and still went two for two, essentially. Yeah. It was a decent job. It was paying with the finish. Money, well, loss bonus for Apex flowing. Fully invested. The utils light. Uh, this is a tough round to pull off. You, you're going to have to hope that the fights come your way because if you get whittled down, you're in a really rough position. And a lot of your utils on Jacob. So if he goes down in this opening mid fight, you're really going to be hard pressed. So two of them are coming towards this mid-fight. Jacob in the off angle. Oh, oh, he's quick switching and leaving. Just as he comes back, though, it's Good one. Trade. And Big Uzero with a necessary trade. Takes him down. And space. Uh, look oh, at this. Oh, the perfect timing for Lux is this window of opportunity. They just left gap. They just left. And now Lux slinking forward. This is held by Tatsunito's angle. He's got so much to worry about, though, doesn't he? Yeah, he's getting, could be getting crawled on from multiple different angles. How aware are the Brazilians? Oh, he's just had a look. I think Tatsunito's timing might favor him. Just as Lux looks away, it's a messy oh, spray. No. He's made a meal of that one. Oh, that one leaves a mark on oh, your that's mental. that's a disaster for Tatsunito. Your, <sighs> your head starts to question everything you know about aiming after that. Oh man, he fully committed to the spray. A couple of taps, just a couple of taps. Yeah, that range. Okay, sends. He can clean things up neat and tidy if it wasn't for NQZ on the AWP. now. Ready for Big Uzera. You can see Steeko completely caught unawares. The fight's on all fronts. It feels like they're everywhere. People are calling A, people are B. Steeko, in the meantime, gets kind of uh, loses Big Uzera. Well, uh, yeah, I was, I was going to come up with a cheeky reference there, but uh, this map, you want to keep all your options open. Uh -huh. You want to have your fingers in as many pies as possible, Alex. And they had all opportunities, A, B, and mid, yeah. on speed dial. Keep your options open. I think they had a different phone for all of the, their mistresses right there. Yeah, but, the burners. Uh, everyone's picking up right now. Yeah, at the same time. Damn. 
Lovely impact. And you said Big Uzara, you know, this uh, this was a name that a lot of people had high expectations for. He really impressed uh, in 2023. When he picked up the in-game leader mantle, it wasn't by choice. It was because PKL was taking a break. And then that's when Payne started to look their best. It was uh, a team that I know Jason, for example, was someone who was quite excited about. But the fact that, like, look, these, these names that we're seeing on their team, it's not that we haven't heard, especially, I think, Lux, right? Because you try and keep your finger on the pulse. Right. And you, uh, the thing is, when you hear people from a region hyping up players from that region, you always, I don't want to say take it with a grain of salt, but it's hard to measure, yeah. right? Because you, you don't know how they're going to go at the upper echelons of Counter-Strike in the most pressure environments. And right now, well, the likes of NQZ and Lux of having some good impact and Big Zero has been great on entries or trades, it's taking space. He's got 11 kills. Yeah. Tatsunito, that, as you said, is going to kind of leave a mark on his mental, feeling like that's a, a guaranteed frag for, for any professional rifler. Back was turned, Lux converts. An interesting angle adopted here from Jacob. Uh, especially a player like Tatsunito, who is normally quite good in that department. Yeah. Not like we're talking like an in-game leader who had that whiff or, or something like along those lines. So the pressure is being applied simultaneously. Middle. Not B, which is where three of the CTs are uh, uh, are leaning towards. What is this from Nissim? I can't explain that one. Well, he's worried about a mid, mid push yeah. to flank. Yeah, but they true. have to go. Their options have been removed. Oh dear. All those numbers they had, go they away. lost their phones. Go away. And quickly. There's already four of them here. Chad. There's no flash oh, or anything, like though, Alex. There's, there's no a, flash or anything. There's a fumble brewing. Whereas getting the bomb down would be nice. That's even better. NQZ takes down Jacob, the AWP in support. Stiko, this is a fast flank. Maybe, oh, yeah, now he is. Swung on, he can maybe go for the transfer. It's only the one. Lux will hold on. And now things falling back into place for Pain. Spam through the smoke gets a little scary. NQZ is low as well. You really have to be careful against that MP9. In the absence of a kit. Sends and Nork. Losing their uh, hopes of a fifth here. Six on the half is fantastic from Payne. This is a phenomenal start, considering the circumstances. They lost the pistol. They kept being able to buy back in. Nork's going looking for damage. And he's the one to cop the bullet to the brain. This is very good work from Payne. I was very worried about that. You know, we talk about the uh, the ramifications and echoes of, of a round. Sure, towards the end of the half, it, it doesn't play as big of a part, but... Uh, I think Nissan would have been punched in the air if that trans tra uh, translated into I an Apex win. I don't think that's something they'd practice, right? It feels like it's gone, hey, mate, uh, mid mid push is open, yeah. and he's gone, well... <laughs> it's like he was holding <laughs> stairs, <now>. yeah. <laughs> I guess I'm going to stay committed to this position. Poor lad, poor lad. Uh, I mean, yeah, bailed out by his squad, uh, and that's just uh, the team game of Counter-Strike in action. Second pause called by Mitha. He wants to have a quick 30 seconds on the mic, trying to uh, recover this half. A 6-6 six, six certainly could be serviceable, but already Pain feeling pretty happy with the uh, with the result. It has gotten away from them, though, hasn't it? Yeah. It's happened quite quickly. Now, uh, money for Pain, considering where it's at, if they get a plant in this round and still lose it, they should be sitting pretty for another full gun run, and even if they lose, it should be enough for Galil. So there's no issues in them staying threatening for the final round of the half, regardless of the outcome about to unfold on our screens. Nork has brought out his AWP. Does mean he's had to forego utility. Heavy lean towards B, AWP of NQZ. Looking for a fight. You can see he's ready for the jump nade or jump molly, and that is actually what transpired, but wasn't able to catch him on the timing. Lux with some space over towards A. Oh, he's missed. Missed the molly. That one's gone off the map. A bit of a firework. Here we go. Get to see Nork's AWP in action. I don't fancy Lux's chances on the fade. Here we go. And perfect. Nork converts onto Lux. Pressure applied to the Bianca once more. How count does Stiko handle this one? Has got some support. Nate chips away. Working on 43 points of health. And he chooses to stand his ground. Backing away further now. Ready for the swing on white box. Gets away. Jacob, the fresh mag. That's Anito cooking up a fast flank. Is Nissim ready for this? He is. Yes, indeed. An equalizer. Now the pendulum can swing. Oh. You've just lost your B anchor. Jacob now alone on the B site. Where do you go? You've got 55 seconds. Get cleared. He is going to be cleared by Big Uzera. And down goes another player on B. 
Big Zero's awareness in a lot of these scenarios has looked sublime. And this started with a man advantage for the Nork AWP. Now they're, well, I don't want to say d not two to the good, two to the bad. Yeah, two to the bad indeed. And they're actually just back at T-Spawn, repositioning. It does have potential to, to go get awkward, uh, given the fact that with only 28 and counting, Biku Zara goes down to sense. The rest of them are going to have to be revealed. And it will be a B split. They are splitting into the I only two remaining this. players. Yeah, there is a world where Nork can close this out. Recover a two on four. And the AWP in the feed. No time for anything else, lads. And already, sense is a problem. Sense in the clutch. All he has to do is stop the plant. All he has to do is stop the plant playing around the smoke. Covered by NQZ, loud about this. The AWP fires off the shot, baits it out, looking for the double. Can he come up clutch? Sense this would be huge. Three bullets, not in a rush. Poses himself, swings out, Nissim will find it. A triple kill from Nissim to save Pain Gaming from a very uncomfortable 2 on 4 Yeah, it got tense, but you mentioned it. They let that clock run down. They were committed to that one option to the B split. Fortunately, able to have the trades fall in their favor. And now have one out the half. Eight is a possibility for the Brazilians. And this is something that Pain have been very aware of after the initial foray of rounds. Apex within the early stages of this were exploiting mid pushes down ladder and flanks. And now every single time Payne have been on high alert for exactly that. Sassanito getting caught in maze towards lower trying to cause an issue or two. And they're going to call a tactical timeout of their own. So Payne, they want to take the whole hog here, see if they can grab eight before they do head into that half-time break. Oh my goodness, and Tatsunito, you, you discussed his flanker and their awareness of it, but he has had a very tough first and opening half for his uh, major affair. One frank to boast. And you can see the round recap as well. It's just been pain gaming one-way street right now. Well, they leave with eight Apex yeah. in damage control mode. Four in a row, which were all hotly contested because of plants and buys, and then now seven consecutive. Yeah, Pain have looked like the better side right now. And the fact that Stiko and Sensor are at the top of the scoreboard, that's uh, a, a sign of the times for Apex. Shouldn't be the case. It's like that one round where Stiko had a three kill yeah. over towards B. It, it shouldn't have been three. I think two was very hard for Well, the third, a bit of a miracle. That's ballsy. I mean, uh, fair play to Sense. He feels like he has to be the difference maker, tucking himself in to this forward smoke. This is, I mean, this is a one and done. Zero's going to overlook. He's not expecting anyone to be that ballsy, and Sense will get away with it. Surely he's going to be punished by this AWP to slow clearing him. Nice work from NQZ to claw it back. Gets away. Four on four established. Lurk smoke to play around. That's a Nito. If you've got any chance of a second frag here. I know the AWP was uh, hunting. He's not scared. He doesn't shy away from the engagement. He's open to receive. Backing away upon the fade. Doesn't look comfortable though, does it? They've parked Nork over towards Sandbag, a noisy rotation from Sassanito away, and Payne gonna hit the brakes again. A key point in the round at 45 seconds is the sheer belt of utility that Payne are holding onto. Multiple smokes, mollies, and flashes, and that really could spell disaster for Nork. He does not have a smoke. With this many mollies left, I would expect Payne to molly the Sandbag position Especially the fact they're giving it away that they're here. Yeah, swinging through. Nork. Oh, wow, he gets two. Great impact. That is exactly what the doctor ordered. And QZ on the AWP. Molly towards the headshot position, but he's long gone already. Tatsunita repositions. Box on seconds. his way in. You need to be planting. And QZ sprayed on down. Round is done. And Apex, they will find a little bit of something to celebrate towards the end of that half five. They can work with five. Have to thank Nork for that one. Yeah. And they did molly him. It still gets away with a double. Impressive. It was like a perfectly placed Molotov. Nork just very proactive. It was almost before Lux could get his gun out, he was already getting shot down. And it's one of those things as well that you're going through the paces and you're throwing that utility, but do you actually believe that there's a player there? Makes all the difference. This is how it started as well, this forward position. This is what we're talking about. Lovely little transfer. Jacob to the enjoyed head. watching that. Yeah. <laughs> He's in, Jacob's enjoyed all of that. <laughs> That's your boy. And uh, 10 frags in the half from him. So, uh, yeah, just Satsunito, the only omission in the double digits. But uh, they recover that half to an extent, considering how it started. It was going so well for Apex. Pain Gaming going to be boasting seven as they change to the defense. Yeah, Satsunito really needs to get activated. He's going to play a very important role on this T side in terms of being quite lurky. He does... Um 
take that role quite seriously. Uh, you'll, you'll see him operating quite late into rounds. Mm. But smoke and a couple of flashes. Loud bridge steps and then cut noise. Dual Barretta's to lock down short in the hands of Cowers. So bridge steps and then quickly gather mid. Well, we have seen this team before, Alex, uh, like to exploit mid gaps, right? That's something that we've covered off with Apex Games previously. We're now looking to do the same on the pistol. First to take contact will be Big Yuzera. This is going to be such a favorable duel. If four Glocks start swinging, that P2K has to hit the first bullet and then get out of there. Smoke on Guardian. Big Yuzera. One. That's it. One shot. One shot opportunity. Forced away. Front delay. Good flash turn now, and the pressure onto Elevator is a lot. Oh, and good clean flicks. Big Uzera racks up a double. And it's just fallen apart for Apex. Lux pushing through, finds one with the dual Barrettas. Nothing here for Tatsunito. One on four. Gonna clear out a lot here, and the angle from Lux was good for some damage. Just unloads his magazine. And Payne will take the pistol as well. Big Uzera might be my favorite Brazilian player. Uh, yeah, I think he's, he's fast growing in everyone's uh, expectations. I just love the decision. The way, like the way he made that call, he's gone. Okay, I'm going to rotate heaven. I'm not going to bother fighting out through uh, the Z towards elevator. Yeah. I'm going to let them pass because now I know that they have 180 degrees worth of angles to have to clear. Like I, just, just it, just his decision making. It's great to see. This is pain poised for the ninth round, considering the apex purchases unable to. Invest in something that they would be comfortable with as far as the four spies. No plant, no chance. At least that's what Sense is thinking. This is not the way that Apex would have been hoping to kick off their major campaign. We'll just hurry up and wait to round number 14. We are, I have mentioned we do have the action going down on that main stream. Not sure how that one concluded. I'll be getting a bit of action over towards B. This is the Chatty B play-by-play. -play. Nissim starts them four in hand, steps out. He takes down the first. Sneakers in the grave. Actually, they got a kill. Yeah, they did. They did get a kill. But that's all. That's all they got. And actually, you know what? MP9's getting the frags and recovering uh, any of rifles and utility. Probably not too shabby. I'll be happy with that. Oh, some well, extra cash. I don't want to give the result for the mainstream. People can go and check it out. No, we don't. We don't like giving away spoilers, you and I. No. We've been scorned Too once or times. twice before, so we'll let you find it out on your own accord. But uh, their second match has kicked off, and that is Ents versus Imperial. A more Brazilian Counter Strike on your screens on this Sunday afternoon. We've got Gamer Legion versus Amcal up next on the mainstream. And, uh, you got Imperial in your pickups? Heroic Linvision. Uh, I don't believe so. Okay. Maybe I should have. Fallen's major runs not, uh, not selling you anything? Okay, this has gone very quickly in one direction. Two opening frags for Apex. Leaves Nissim with a lot of pressure on his shoulders. He's got Steeko and Sense knocking on that B door. If he pushes, I don't think he's ready for Steeko. Oh, he's clearing. Yeah. It's just not a favorable CT fight. Ever. <laughs> So you have to pip the gap perfectly, whereas he's going to have all the advantages in the world. And a sound cue uh, just for good measure. Nice one back from Lux, but I mean, that's a pretty much uh, the only frag they'll have to celebrate here as they know the B site's open. They'll be able to wander in and get that, uh, that sixth round cooking. Well, good that Apex haven't uh, had to stomach another seven round drought, yep. because at that point the game would have been over. So um, they have been able to bounce back the early stages of this second half. Now, NQZ and Lux, can you hold on to your rifles? Because we need to take a bit of an inventory right here, right now. Lux will be able to drop a rifle into the next round if he survives. Big Zero will be able to buy one of his own. And NQZ could drop something a little bit lighter. So as far as the force bite, well, at that point, it's not really a force bite for pain. They should be able to get at least four rifles to keep themselves threatening and not allow things to run away from them completely as far as the economy is concerned. But Jacob with an opener, and Sense with another one back, and looking a bunch of ducks in a row. Remember, at the start of the day, don't duck with me. Keep on playing 2 1 2. There you go. 
So they've just defaulted to start this round, and the fights have come their way. You can see those two initial exchanges within the first 20 seconds of the round, and just how easy that one is for Stiko, who's able to worm past the LOS. That's line of sight for those of you playing at home. For Nissim. Damn, bro. Yeah, it, these a, MMO... Uh, a good uh, TTK there for <laughs> Stiko. Yeah, the TTK was quick on the LOS. I don't think Jacob's going to be uh, so lucky this time. Finding an opening frag. I say that. The CTs are vying for control. Smokes won't last forever. They just whistles past Jacob's head, but those bullets did connect. He's got seven HP as he does manage to get away. I leave Nork responsible for containing any ramp aggression. Three CTs leaning on that side of the map. Sends with Stiko. Going to continue this 2-1-2 two, two as discussed. The round needs to start taking shape at this point, right? So coming through the pipe will be the information. What mollies are used? What smokes? You know, where Ooh. have we seen them? What type of setup does it look like they're going for? It's a nice smoke to be thrown by Stiko. They've tried to counter it with a smoke of their own. That's the last smoke. Yeah. Actually peeking with the smoke, Lux. Tries to confirm... The final uh, target, and yes, and he was ready for that. A little peek too far, punished. This young IGL pulling his troops in pursuit of a seven. Should just finish A, right? Do the smokes backside, get the mollies in play, and away you go. This should be good for Apex to finish the round. Yeah, they're trying to get ahead of the play. You can see there was a touch of aggression there. They didn't push on seconds. that flash. It's delayed them. The smokes surely have to be leaving their hands now. They're going to go for a double push on Gap. This is held by Sense. This is the frag. That is the start. Now a second required. They are pushing on towards the side. The backwards turn. Stiko arrives. That should be enough. High impact frags. Bomb. Plant with Ooh. a second to spare. <laughs> Bloody hell. Wow. Hang on. Nissim, by finding that frag so quickly, has confirmed that the rest are likely in front of him. He's got to just keep running, not faffing around, not messing around. Not planted for them. They might get panicked. They might get a little worried. Oh, a different universe, perhaps. Apex will take it. Oh, yeah, it was an important round. I imagine if it went down with Sassanito not planting the bomb in time, though. It, wanting to get the safe side plant in, that came too close to call. It was also almost the uh, Nissim GTR over the finish line. Yeah. <laughs> I know nothing about cars. No, but it sounded right. Thank you. Yeah, I will say that Stiko's like decision making and awareness of when he wanted to show himself as that second prong on gap, it was just part like just as those two players were turning their attention to sight, he managed to be there uh, and continues to be impressing. This is not going to be too impressive for pain, just an economical. And in a dream world, they would avoid that Mac 10 that Jacob has intentionally bought to farm up some extra $600 kill rewards. See how far he gets with this one. Just gonna be pausing, waiting for any uh, of the CT maneuvers. Is there a you know a cheeky flash play coming into the mix? Doesn't seem to be the case. Instead, Jacob ah, loses out on his Mac 10. Three, just go B. A wise Hampus once said. Yeah, and Norky's not going to be playing any silly games here. I was very interested. I'm watching the mini map as that was unfolding as we were in eyes with Jacob, but this is what I was looking at. Sassanito was searching middle on his own so proactively. He was already out mid before Jacob had taken that initial fight. Yeah, he has gone down to the uh, recovered Mac 10 though, but recovering that AK is a different challenge altogether. You can see Nissim's trying his best, but Nork should have him here. And it leaves Lux with just a Mac 10. If there is an AK, you can see he might give it a look in. Yeah, they're, they're exiting B stairs, so he's going to get away. away with, he's going to get away with it. Yeah. All right, you take something. that. Well, game back on. Just a one-round difference at this juncture. Apex having to do it the hard way on the T side, grinding through. But I think when you have these type of matchups, especially with a regional team like Pain, you know you're going to be watching the demos, you're going to be prepping. But this is where the best of one conversation really comes in, and it is hard to adjust with less rounds as well. So look, I'm not saying that that's why the scoreline is like this. I think. Payne have played some fantastic Counter-Strike up until this point, but Apex get to settle in now and set the tone on their terms of the T-side. These matchups were known ahead of time by a considerable yes. margin, right? Yeah, like yeah. a couple of weeks. 
Uh, and if that's the case, you also expect that both teams to have done an advanced level of homework. And and that's where it comes into play of what are we going to see that's new, mm. right? Because the default to the positions that teams hold, you tend not to expect that to change. That's what I call color by uh, number Counter-Strike, right? Like in the sense that, okay, we see this guy on this part of the map, but he's the B defender, but he's over towards A. Okay, maybe that means B's free, right? Mm -hmm. like just the, the basics of that. So everybody should be well drilled and then it's going to come down to the flow of the game, right? Where have they decided is our weakness? Where have they decided is their strength of what they want to attack? And then how does that flow into future rounds that are being called? Well, for sense, he's literally just called defaults. So they're essentially allowing the tone to be set by pain on the CT side and then responding to the round from that point forward. This looks a whole lot more like an A play. So if you make it look like a default when you open up this round, you can finish a lot swifter. But apparently they've seen enough. More and more U2 liberally applied on either side of the server to stall out information, essentially. Oh, Kawas is committed. No, nope. get himself away. Safer. Towards the gap position. Satsunito now attending to the potential of mid. Oh, and his own again. Yeah, hoping that... Oh, okay. That's very unfortunate. <laughs> That's just a spam. That's a smoke spam from Jacob, and it's taken down one of the A defenders. I wonder if he's caught a glimpse of him there through the yellow gap, because it was through the smoke and the wall. This has actually bought an opportunity for Sassadito to activate his own discretion. That was his window of opportunity onto the mid fight. And he will be punished for it. Nissim, good awareness, good headshot. Oh. <gasps> Do you think Uzera's going to get misinformation here or he could catch Nork? Okay, but Nork was not ready for that, not expecting that. Yeah, yes, big Uzera, he considered it, knows the potential for the gap slip. Jacob, out of the smoke now emerges. 20 seconds. Big Uzera, he's ready for this. Good damage, but Jacob, good precision. Finds the headshot. Is there anything left in this round for Apex? There's no nade or molly to stall out the plan. Smokes Ellie. Surely they get ahead of this. Lux. Ooh, chipped away at. Could be awkward. NQC's found the frag. There's no time. There's no health. And look how that one feels. Pain Gaming. An important round to win. And it started with a loss. They lost Cowers to Jacob and they recover the round. Air fire in the belly right there and a risky maneuver from Big Uzera. They already had a number advantage that happened off screen at the same time. So he was already committed to that play. Very fortunate for him that he gets away with one. That's Sassanito again. And it looks like a lot of spray and pray from Sassanito. You can see he had committed to that duel and it wasn't tap, it wasn't burst. It was hold down mouse one, a little bit that like from Lux. But they deal with the problem. They deny the plant. They get themselves up to double digits. You win one more of those, and the bank balance is oh, done. Pace, pace. Charging. Satsunito. A direct approach. And it's going to lead to a four on four. Orp tends to the aggression. Cowares, big frag. Needed that. He's away with just a scrap of hell. Down to the flames and the spread from sense. Smokes are up. Pressure is on. The bomb disconnected from the pack. Where is Stiko? So with all of that territory, those smokes invested, they're not going to leave with a, with a bomb plant and a post plant. Here comes Nissim. Just as Stiko starts to join his boys. Yeah, and, and this is problematic. Nissim down the ladder behind. That was Stiko's responsibility to watch that flank, but he's had to be called towards the site. The timing on Nissim's flank is everything. Yeah. Holding his smoke pushes in. QZ has a good idea that they are going for the plant now. Look how much room he's getting on the flank. How quickly does he tend to this? This frag is everything and he's clean with it. Takes down Sen. Seiko next victim, Nissim. Gonna do it all on his own if he's not careful. Nork in the clutch, a one on three. Faked out, Big Uzera. Holding for this push. They're gonna need to touch it again. They're gonna need to tap it. Both lining up for him, but good cover. Big Uzera will convert. And Pain Gaming, back-to-back, -back, high impact rounds as they look to extend their lead. That's like The thing right there is we don't know what the call is, but if you're going to go a little bit more heads up towards A, which was quite clear, Sassanito was all in. After the first, he was 
full commit for the second, just trying to scuttle up a bit of space there. And the bomb being so disconnected, I'm not saying take it up the ramp with you on entry, but have it at least in elevator room. Yeah. Because Stiko, as the flank, you could see how much room he had to give up to bring the bomb towards the site. It put Nissim in a fantastic... But he was undetected until he's already up towards mini ramp. Yeah, that's mad. That's a big, big problem. And a different universe, you know, those smokes are up. Stiko still has the flank, and that bomb is, is able to convert off of those smokes in that space. Instead, 8-11, hold on. Pain Gaming, if they can take these Galils down, Apex might be starting their campaign in Copenhagen with a loss. And this is such a low util round from Apex. They've used sound to at least try and buy them something. One smoke, it's just they've used it now. What's that, like a Lurk smoke ramp? Just peeking dry into the AWP. What else can you do in the absence of utility? Well, if they've done their homework, they should expect Sassanito. At least one more. Yeah, you're right. Does he flick into this? Is that not an easy shot to hit? Ooh, gave it a go. NQZ down. Tatsunito with an equalizer. Irresponsible is Nissim. Uzera anticipating the railing angle. This has become a new problem. The new smokes, the, the old lineups, you can see their head over the railing. He has to be very careful. I'm going to try and play the fade here. Big Uzera needs help. Jiggles out. Oh, Stiko spots him out. Nice work from Big Uzera. How has he gotten that so clean? A headshot onto Sense. Repels the invaders. They're still on B stairs, making no secret about it. They can't flush him out. They don't have the nades to do so. He's got the support. There's smokes. There's oh. spam. Nissim takes down Sassanito at 12. Oh my god, they could have finished it. Yeah, they are going to take 12, and they'll take it by force. There's nothing here for Nork. Absolutely it, nothing. And this time, no plan. The oh. next round is going to look the same. Yeah, this is going to be bleak. Still getting the info through. Yeah. yeah. NQZ wants his AWP. And this is a feel good moment. I said Big Zero stock's going to be through the roof if they can continue the type of performance they had at the RMR. Well, this is great guns against one of Europe's representatives here in the opening stage. And it's been a team effort. Everybody's yeah. had their moments. Lux within the early stages of the first half. Big Uzera throughout. NQZ hitting some tidy shots. Nissim has started to pick up the pace a little bit. Cowes with some important kills throughout. And the third tactical timeout called for Apex. Dude, look at that buy. Yeah, and I was surprised they went for the purchase in the last. They could have just limped in with some upgraded pistols, which would have definitely given over 12, sure. sure. But then they could have had a full buy. So it's Galil with no Uto into Tech 9 with Nate. They both suck. Yeah. Nah, back to back rounds where you kind of feel like you've lost before you even begin. Galil with no nades into an orb. Like for Jacob, he just feels like, well, obviously. He's like, you know, like, <laughs> you know, as soon as he dies, he goes, oh, there's an orb holding mid. Who'd have thought it? Yeah, yeah. and I've gone out dry. Yeah, here yeah. I go. Well, of course I have, because I only have Galil. And we didn't have any nades to try and cause any chaos yeah, no. across the map. Hindsight, I know it's 2020, <laughs> but I'm just saying it doesn't seem like the play. Uh, just very limited options. Tech nines, dude. Deagles. It's a, and it's a, a fast day. Go on then, Sense, through the flames. And, oh, a chance. He did have a chance. Two or three clicks of the Tech 9 before Cowes managed to shut him down. In gaming, four frags away from starting with the win in these best of ones. And re-smoke towards the ramp. Lux to flash and flush those attackers away. Oh, this is dire. Yeah. You need a miracle from one of the Apex individuals to pull you through this. Somebody has to get a multi-kill or a banger of a deagle shot. So Nito's really going to lurk mid on this. And I love the aggression from Kawas. Well, this is it. Yeah, one by one. I can't believe he's... Yep. All right. Well, pack her up. Pack her in. Let the campaign begin for pain. Yeah, man. Pain Gaming. They have proven a point. A statement of intent from Pain Gaming. Not everyone having high expectations for this roster. A lot of unknown names, an unknown entity in Pain Gaming, but Big Uzera pulling the strings. And as Chad was highlighting, a full team effort. Oh, for sure. Everybody had their moments throughout this one. And, and...